Hello, greetings ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to this little one, which is from a very, very different uh, railway centre. What happened was that I'd never even tweaked the place. But we were coming back from the latest Cornwall trip, back to home in Dunstable, on a stupid day, Friday, and the navigator just threw fit after fit trying to avoid traffic. But in the end we down narrow lanes, very pleasant, when you got a 200 odd mile run, not so clever, um, and we ended up in this uh, little village of Bicklesley or Bickley in Mid Devon. Way off what would have normally been our course, but lo and behold I found the Devon Railway Centre. Way hey. Naturally, me being me, lunchtime called, in we go. And what a surprise. It's based on the Cadley Railway Station of years ago, Great Western of course, down there. Um, it's also really a very large back garden to the owner's house. Now the owner, operating owner, is second generation and was brought up in the steam world, preservation world. Very well known there before he even became an adult. And he settled down with this one, he tells me, as aimed very originally at the next generation coming up to try to recruit people into the preservation world. And the, and the generation after that, that are just about tunnelling. And what a success he's making of it. Wish there was a lot more like this. So it makes a big change from old men playing with their big train sets. And businesses being a nuisance. Being a railway centre, Obviously we have trains and things like that. It has a diesel locomotive named Boris, built in 1952 by Bagley on standard age track, just as an exhibit. exhibit. But having said which, they keep it in fully maintained uh, condition. They also use the bog standard British Rail carriages for the displays and what have you. However, the running railways are a narrow gauge which does have a steam locomotive, then at weekends and what have you, and a fistful of diesels, either motor rail or simplex which have been suitably done up to look like choo-choos for the little kiddies. Between that and the aforementioned displays, as you go down and into the woodland sections and what have you, you suddenly find out that they've got these mini villages. Mini fairground, mini villages in two parts, um, and all this sort of stuff. So. Overall, he's done a wonderful job of creating a centre which is well worth visiting with kiddies, but it's also well worth visiting for kiddies at the other end of the childhood, like myself. It becomes quite, quite fascinating for us. And he was quite right saying that you've got to allow an hour and a half for us to do it properly. Keep you on a stick. Okay, 
let's go and have a look at things running.
ไหมโอ้คู่เราเราแค่เลือกคู่เราพี่คุณแม่ดีไหมเนี่ยหนูหนูจะคิด
that's it folks. Good place to visit, well worth putting on your itinerary if you're bugging off down that way. Um, if you've stayed on this long, maybe you enjoyed it, maybe you might enjoy the other hundred and goodness knows how many that are on my uh, channel. And I believe down in the corner that you may have showed the um, join button if you want to click it. I'd be obliged. Bye-bye.